On the 22nd of May 1960, at 11 minutes past 3 in the afternoon, the world experienced the largest ever recorded earthquake, with its epicentre in Chile on the west coast of South America. The epicentre was a few hundred miles south of the capital, Santiago, with the most affected city being Valdivia. The massive earthquake lasted for 10 minutes and measured 9.4 on the Richter scale. The Richter scale goes from 1 to 10, with 1 being the weakest, with each level being 10 times stronger than the level below. To put an earthquake over 9 in context, an earthquake measuring 7 on the Richter scale can cause serious damage and loss of life. This shake map from the United States Geological Survey shows the level of intensity when the quake hit, with the yellow and oranges being the places which had the most intense earthquake. The earthquake triggered huge waves on the coast of Chile, some up to 25 metres in height, and a large tsunami began to ripple its way across the Pacific Ocean. This graphic from the US National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration shows how long it took to reach various locations. Each bar represents an hour. 12 hours after the earthquake, the tsunami waves reached New Zealand. Three hours later, they had hit the shores of Southeast Australia. 22 hours after the earthquake, they arrived at the shores of Japan, approximately 10,000 miles or 17,000 kilometers from Chile. The main tsunami wave traveled at hundreds of kilometers per hour, and when it hit the city of Hilo on the coast of Hawaii, over 60 people were killed, and there was also deaths in Japan. Estimates vary regarding how many people in total from all countries were killed as a result of the earthquake and tsunami, but at least 1,000 and possibly up to 6,000 people. The region of Chile that was at the centre of the earthquake did not have a high population density, which prevented the deaths being much higher. The city of Valdivia, which was most affected, had about 40% of its houses destroyed, leaving 20,000 people homeless. The huge earthquake ruptured a volcano in the region, which erupted 38 hours after the earthquake. This photo from a US Air Force plane shows the Cordon Cole volcano following the eruption. It continued to erupt for the next 59 days. This pie chart, created by Richard Astor of the New Mexico Institute of Mining and Technology, illustrates how massive the earthquake was. The whole pie chart represents the total global seismic energy released between 1906 and 2005. As you can see, the Chilean earthquake of 1960, shown in light blue, created almost a quarter of all earthquake power Earth has experienced in 100 years of monitoring. Hi, this is Nick from Planet Report. Thanks for listening and if you'd like to be notified when new videos are added, please subscribe to the channel.